guys and welcome back to yet another FPV guy video from Inner Drone 2018. I am here and if any one of you guys do photogrammetry mapping, you know, Pix4D where you're flying out back and forth to get a very accurate 3D map of any environment, typically a place where there's commercial activity going on is where I have been flying railroad tracks for some reason. Yeah. Sean has a marker from you. You know these things? We throw them out, then we put our iPhone down for like 20 minutes to get a very accurate spot. And you have a solution for this. Yeah, so so just let me uh, take this for a moment. So um, essentially this is the world's first smart ground control target. So uh, what we're looking at is we've got the solar panel, lithium battery, we've got a Wi-Fi chip here. We've actually had the GPS receiver recording to the top of here. So the entire premise of this is we would take this one point, you know, we would toss this on the ground and, and throughout the duration of your survey, this will record positional data to here, which we then post-process to give you a very accurate position. So, the type of accuracy you can expect from this is uh, one centimeter on the X and Y and up to three on the Z. So um, after you've finished flying your survey, you're going to rectify the model onto these to bring the entire survey into both relative and globally accurate data. And so you said 45 minutes. Less than 45 minutes, Less yeah. than 45 minutes. So because the duration that you I typically out, fly yeah. in about 30, 20 minutes. Yeah. That's my battery life. Right. And then I try to change the next pattern. Right, so exactly. So I mean, if you can think of pretty much the, the workflow of, you're gonna have 10 of these for a site of maybe up to 100 acres or so, and you would go lay these out in, in coordination, so one through 10, and then in, by the time you go fly your drone and, but, and go to retrieve these, you It'll have- take the time it takes me to walk around, it's gonna be 40 exactly, minutes. Exactly, yeah, you have an adequate data to uh, go ahead and I notice this model. is serialized. Is that how the data is coming out? I see that it has the printed serial number right here on the edge. So yeah, so each each has its unique key here, and, and along with the actual static position of here, the timestamp, and the unique serial ID, this will connect with our system. Uh, we Dude, can, is there an SD card in this? Uh, so there is an SD card in, but you okay. don't have to retract it. So it's all through. Uh, it's all through a hotspot. Okay. So you turn on the hotspot as you're walking around. You click this. That's entering upload mode, and it's about you know maybe a two megabit file per of these. And then by the time you return to uh, you know your workstation, whatever it's already it is, uploaded. You've, it's out uploaded. You've got the corrected point, so you can pull that CSV file out. So do I buy these one at a time? I do sets of ten. Sets of ten. Sets of ten for six thousand. Okay, so they're about six hundred dollars a pop. Exactly. Yep. I have a feeling it's gonna cost my credit card money. You better know. Yeah. I don't like when I see stuff that actually works. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry, we've, we've figured out the solution and it's gonna cost money, so. Yeah, I'm not yeah. happy with that. Yeah. So basically, I'm, there's $600 a mark, but we can't forget, we get paid pretty good money to do a photogrammetry survey. And that's exactly it. I mean, the, the, the idea is that you can't add the type of value that you can with your data if you can't do it to some sort of accuracy, right? If you're gonna fly a site on repeat basis, there's no way you can get them to line up and both be relatively and, and globally accurate unless you have some form of ground One, control, one so. centimeter is very very accurate. And I know people are constantly telling me they're doing half a centimeter with just photogrammetry using the onboard GPS, but to be perfectly honest, I doubt that. Highly unlikely, I can confirm that, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So, yeah so if so. you really need it, if you need accurate volumetric data, put one of these on top of the pile and spread a couple around and you'll have a very, very accurate mesh. Absolutely. You can make measurements on it. Yeah. Awesomeness, Sean, thank you so much, and I know you're like, Try to run out to yeah. get, be on a panel here. Yes, yeah, very shortly, but yeah. Uh, <laughs> so this is Sean. This is his. Wh where can we find these? So these these are the propeller arrow points. So if you search arrow points, A E R O P O I N T S, um, absolutely will come up on on Google. Um, and I, I think that's probably the best way to search us. All right. Yeah. So we'll put that up on the screen here. Make sure you go visit him. Of course, also click down here in the corner somewhere where it says subscribe and also share this on whatever mapping group you are on. Make sure people check it out. And even if they don't agree with Sean's assertion that he has the best point, make sure you make that comment below in the comments. Make sure you subscribe, stay tuned for more and more stuff here from Interdrone 2018. Thank you, Sean.